I'm just making up the N4 lines here for a uh, turbo oil feed. So I have this one done already, so I just put a swivel 90 on that end, and then that's just a straight fitting and then into a, a Y junction because there'll be an AN6 going on this side and two AN4s to both turbos. I have this stainless steel braided nylon pipe and these fittings here then, so these basically just screw out as a little collar then as well. So the collar goes over the pipe. This goes on first, collar goes over the pipe and then this sits into the pipe and then you tighten it all back together and it seals it all up. So what I've done is basically just put tape around the end and cut it as straight as you can with the angle grinder and then when you pull off the tape You should have a nice clean finish like that. Not perfect, but it's good enough. So then you slide on your piece backwards. And just open out the edges here like this. So open it all out, all around the stainless. Because your collet is going to go under the stainless part. So that's it there. I will have it in my pocket here. So that's your piece there. So you just pop it on the end. Easier said than done. And push it all the way in to the end. So I'm going to use the bench to put push against here. So I'll be back in a second. So that's it there then. So all we do then is we get we get our piece and we slide it in there. Now we'll take a little bit of working in. So that's it now. This is AN4 pipe. So these fittings are from fmyc.eu. So we'll just screw her on together then. Simple as that. Now you can get fancy as your minimum spanners, but That doesn't bother me, no. So I just use normal spanners. So the outside is a 15, and the other one's a 16 on these AN4 fittings. Just tighten it all up, like so. Loads there. So, as you can see, end spins, this part doesn't. So, I'm going to do the same on this side. So, we take off the end here, slide it on over here, simple as that. Then, we have our aluminium collar. And then we just open this out again. Open it all out. So open it all out around the edges. And you're going to want to make sure you open it out enough because 
It'll make it harder to get the collet on. So that should be enough now. Slide our collet on. Push it in. Now we'll go back to the bench again. That's fully on again. So we get our other piece, slide it in. There, tight fit. But if you just keep working, don't go out of the way. That's it on there, a bit of force. And then, same thing again, slide it up over, thread it on. Grab 15 over this side, 16 over this side, and wind it on. You want to cut and tight, but you don't want to overdo it either. So that should be loads there. So that's the two plates made. So that will be going to one turbo. That's going to the other turbo. We've got a Y junction then. That screws onto here. Like so. And then we have AN6 coming off this over to the oil filter housing. And that's it. Thanks for watching.